Yes, this one is the iliacus release, or one of the deep hip flexors. And um, the easiest way to find it is to get onto your ASIS that we mentioned earlier in the blog. Um, so it's that bony bit that sticks out of the front, okay, of your pelvis. All right, I'm gonna take my thumb, it's much easier to do this on my, from my opposite hand, because it gets you into the bowl of your pelvis, all right? Because that's what you're trying to get into, is onto the inside of it. We don't want to just push straight down, we want to push into the bowl of the pelvis, all right? So again, if I show you here on, um, on the skeleton, you can see just there is, there's the ASIS, and we're trying to get in there, all right? So I'm trying to come into it from that side, all right? I don't want to just miss it, otherwise I'm going to miss the actual the, the trigger point that I want because this iliacus comes from inside this bowl here. And if I push just straight down, I'll actually miss the trigger point. I need to hook into that little area just by the ASIS. All right, so that's what we're looking to do. And we can duck this laying on our backs. All right, so I'm going to lay on my back. Locate the ASIS, hook into it. All right, so either hook into it with this, or like I said, the easiest is normally with the opposite hand to push across and in. All right, and then once I'm on that spot, you will know it. If you hold a lot of tension there, you'll know it because it will feel very tender. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide that leg out, squeeze quad, point toe, squeeze bum, and then slide back in again. As I slide back in, I'm going to pull my foot up towards my shin. All right, so I'm going to full flexion and then full extension all the time keeping that pressure on that trigger point, okay, by the ASIS, all right? What you may even find is that if it's particularly locked down in there and particularly tender and tight is that your leg itself may not even be able to go the whole way. You might find it's very shaky, it feels weak, you might find that you can only go so far, all this kind of stuff, it's quite normal. So what you do if you feel that it's locking it down and you literally can't get the leg out there because it's just so tight in there, what you can do is just go out to the edge where you feel you can get to, come back in, and each time you do it, you're going to try and push a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further until you can get it all the way out. Okay, so just kind of just pump your way through it, just slowly try and get your way until you can get it all the way out. And then what you'll do is you'll keep doing that until that pain basically dies off by at least a third, uh, and or you have pretty good function. The limit for this, if it's just not letting go, is two minutes. Don't push much past two minutes, okay? You need to come back and do another um, uh, session on it later in the day or the next day, all right? And that's the release of the iliacus.